Hello, and welcome to Marriage Moments. In Titus chapter 2, God talks some straight talk. Uh, he talks first to husbands, um, but he also talks to, to wives, to women. And here's one of the things he says. He says, teach the older women to be reverent in the way they live, not to be slanderers or addicted to much wine, but to teach what is good. Then they, the older women, can train the younger women to love their husbands and children. It goes on a little more, but I wanna focus in on just that one thought that God wants women to be husband lovers. That's of course assuming you're married. If you're not married, it doesn't apply. But that God wants women to be husband lovers. And I think that's really interesting for our society to hear, isn't it? In most of our society, how do husbands in general get portrayed? I think in general, husbands tend to be portrayed as being ridiculous, as being oafs, as being idiots, and worthy of their wives' ridicule. Now, it's fair to say that sometimes that's true, <laughs> but that's not God's desire. God's desire isn't that wives be husband ridiculers, but rather that wives be husband lovers that wives respect their husbands, that they look to build them up, that they look to encourage them. But what if their husband is an idiot? What then? Then think about the love that Jesus showed to you. Jesus didn't love you and me because we were so good, so great, so worthy of his love. No, he just loved us. Reflect that love, wives, to your husbands. That's some straight talk from God. And when you listen to God's straight talk, your marriage will be blessed. And that's a moment for your marriage.